This is Seven's Afternoon News, live and local across Queensland. Hello and welcome to Seven's Afternoon News. I'm Max Futcher. The top stories this Wednesday, growing anger over the downgrading of Jared Baden Clay's murder conviction. He has led the prosecution and the police on a merry goose chase. The high profile Australians condemning the court's ruling. Shots fired and a police car rammed as thieves lead officers on a wild chase in Toowoomba. And calls for Clive Palmer to use his own money to bail out his troubled nickel refinery as hundreds of workers still wonder whether they'll have a job this Christmas. But first, a Toowoomba police officer has fired his gun after allegedly being run down by a stolen car during a wild chase. Reporter Katrina Blowers joins us now live from the newsroom. Katrina, how did these events unfold? Well, Max, it began as a routine traffic stop in Harlexton, Toowoomba at around 11.30 this morning, but very quickly escalated out of control. And Forensic teams are wrapping up their investigation at the Orkinflower apartment where an 11-year-old girl was found dead yesterday morning. Her mother's body was found in a neighbouring suburb. Lauren Dejou has more. Let's check today's weather now and uh, meteorologist Tony Auden. Tony, uh, which areas have been hottest today? Well, Max, as usual, inland spots felt the worst of the heat today, with temperatures pushing up to around three degrees above the December average. We saw some patchy cloud moving in, but it did little to cool conditions down at all. Ipswich and Logan reached 33 degrees, with Caboolture not too far behind on 32. Along with the heat, storms are building over inland Queensland today. They're all linked in with the trough system across the west of the state. It runs from the far southern border up to the northwest near Mount Isa. There hasn't been too much rain recorded just yet, with Thargaminda posting 1.8 millimetres though a few spots should see at least something later today. We're looking at storm activity reaching the southeast tomorrow. Max, I'll be back soon with the details. Thanks, Tony. We'll see you then. Still to come in Queensland's afternoon news, an update on the hapless army officer who went on a training run at Rochdale with a fake gun. And the band at the centre of the Paris attacks makes a touching return to the stage. fighter from Queensland has arrived back in Australia. Bringing Queensland and your world straight to you. Terror level here remains at severe. The minute you're up. It's been locked down here by police. Sunrise will make sure you're up to the minute. Just heard that another body has been found. Start your day with Queensland Sunrise. This is Seven's Afternoon News, live and local across Queensland. Thanks for joining us. In today's top stories, police in Toowoomba have captured a man on the run after a dramatic confrontation, ending with a stolen car smashed in half by a bus on the highway. Earlier, a police officer fired his gun at the car after it failed to stop for a routine check. Domestic violence campaigner and Australian of the Year Rosie Batty says she's gutted that Jared Baden Clay's murder charge has been reduced to manslaughter. Floral tributes of growing for an 11-year-old girl found dead in her unit at Orkinflower yesterday. Her mother was also found dead at a nearby construction site. The uncertainty continues for hundreds of workers in Townsville who fear they'll be sacked if Clive Palmer puts his cash-strapped nickel refinery into administration. Amanda Abate has more from Yubulu. Well, workers turned up to the plant this morning not knowing what the future holds for them or for how much longer they will have a job here. They're Nadine Cassidy reporting from the red carpet. Now let's take a look at the share market. Here's Tom Petrovsky from Comsec. Yeah, the market was down for a second day today. Max, the ASX 200 down by a little over a half of 1% or about 28 points. Banks were the biggest weight on the market today. So we had the CBA, the only improver, up by about a fifth of a percent as far as the big four were concerned. Elsewhere, we saw a slight fall in uh, consumer confidence over the course of the last month, bearing in mind that the previous month we had the best improvement in about six months. Interestingly, uh, we had uh, the wisest place for savings this month as being the uh, banks. Uh, that surpassed real estate and elsewhere uh, households think that paying down debt is the third best place for their savings. Uh, the share market comes in with a 10% approval rating in terms of it being the best place for savings and that is actually the highest level that we've seen in two years. OK, let's have a quick look at today's sport. Here's Pat. Thanks, Max. Hello, everyone. Several media outlets are this afternoon reporting that Paul Green has been offered the Queensland State of Origin coaching job. The QRL insists there's no announcement pending and the Cowboys aren't commenting. 
Broncos players who were today brightening the lives of sick kids at Logan Hospital were still talking up the credentials of their own, Kevin Walters. He knows how the system works and you know the players obviously respect and enjoy Kevy's company and love what he brings to the team. There's still no word on the future of ex-Titan James Roberts. It's believed though that the Broncos remain in the race. Captain Steve Smith has confirmed paceman James Pattinson will play his first test in more than 18 months with Nathan coulton 12th man. Pattinson replaces the injured Mitchell Stark for tomorrow's series opener against the West Indies. He bowls at 150 kilometres an hour when he's, um, you know, got everything together. So he brings that sort of X factor to the, the team. He's got a lot of aggression. He's not afraid to show that. A statue of Ricky Ponting was unveiled outside Bell Oval. The former captain defended his beloved home ground ahead of calls to axe the Tassie Test. Thanks, Ashley. That's all in sport. I'll have more tonight at six o'clock on the comings and goings of this Origin coach. It's a long saga. Isn't Do worse it? than Paul Brown, can you? I think so. He's a very, very good coach. Good on you, mate. Thank you. All right, at 96 and 93, Victor and Muriel Wolf are celebrating their 73rd wedding anniversary. The couple met during the war and today they shared their secret to a lasting marriage. Fantastic. Now, we want to know what you think. What's your secret to a happy marriage? Michelle Creer has been married for 22 years. She says the best thing is communication. David Waugh says be quick to forgive each other and you can have your say on today's Talking Point. Head to our 7 News Queensland Facebook page. Weather with Tony is just ahead and in Seven's afternoon news, also SeaWorld welcomes some new happy feet with Penguin Family. And you'd better watch out, meet Canada's new version of Santa and he's turning heads. Fighter from Queensland has arrived back in Australia. Bringing Queensland and your world straight to you. Terror level here remains at severe. The minute you're up. It's been locked down here by police. Sunrise will make sure you're up to the minute. Just heard that another body has been found. Start your day with Queensland Sunrise. Good afternoon, Dave Andrews in the flooded Forget It traffic chopper. Well, no big accidents around this afternoon, which is good news. We had one earlier involving a bus and a car on the Warrego Highway through Plainland. You run down the M1 through 8 Mile Plains. Look at that, really thick this afternoon, as is you run on Kessels Road as you make your way down the hill towards Garden City and slow to on the Ipswich motorway from Maruka out towards about Oxley. And if the road's flooded, forget that it doesn't look that deep or fast. No one can predict flood water or what's happened to the road underneath. If it's flooded, forget it. Have yourself a great afternoon. I'll check the roads again for you tomorrow. This weather report brought to you by Australia's biggest fan sale at Beacon Lighting. Beat the heat with big savings on Australia's biggest range of fans. Good afternoon. You're watching 7 News. Checking the weather now and storms are bubbling away near and ahead of a trough across parts of New South Wales into western Queensland and across northern Australia today. Otherwise, a high pressure system out in the Tasman Sea is pushing humid north to northeast winds onto the southern Queensland coast keeping conditions quite hot and muggy. Moving on to the forecast chart, the inland trough should move slowly to the east with plenty more storm activity ahead of it, again, mostly through northern New South Wales, but also pushing up into southern Queensland. So around the nation tomorrow, Perth and Adelaide are locked together with dry tops of 28 degrees, a cooler 24 in Melbourne. In Queensland, the stormy weather should continue around the northwest of the state, a top of 38 degrees in Mount Isa, the odd brief shower for Weeper and Cairns, and a mostly sunny top of 31 degrees in Mackay. Heading south, Longreach, Roma, Toowoomba and also Gympie could see a storm in the afternoon, remaining dry further north along the coast, 35 degrees in Rockhampton. In the southeast, another hot start to the day before storms take off inland in the afternoon. The odd cell, even some late thundery rain could reach the coast. Tops of 31 degrees for Brisbane and also on both coasts. A Friday could also bring another storm, but a big jump in temperatures. Max, I'll have the details coming up at 6pm. Thanks, Tony. We'll see you then. SeaWorld is welcoming three new additions to its penguin family after one of its most successful breeding seasons. Today, Eamon Atkinson stepped into their icy enclosure. Good afternoon. The three hatchlings are happy and healthy and have more than tripled in size since they hatched last month. Now take a look here at Mum Sunka sitting over her firstborn chick, keeping it warm. The baby hasn't ventured outside the stone nest yet, still needing to grow its waterproof feathers. It'll stay here for another week or so before it starts exploring. Then it'll be taken to a special crate joining the other two where they'll gain their independence and grow into an adult. So it's probably about another two months yet before it fully fledges, has all of its adult feathers and is waterproof enough. 
This is a very important breeding program, only one of two facilities in Australia where researchers can study the gentoo and penguin species. Now, the gentoo are the fastest water bird and can swim up to 40 kilometres an hour. Now, look how quickly they grow. This was Onyx back in March. Now, look at him. He's almost fully grown, but still is a little too nervous to venture into the water. SeaWorld are running a competition to name the new chicklings. They won't know their gender for another six months. But here are some suggestions from today's crowd. Well, I was thinking earlier that it should be called Flippy. Um, Bob. Steve. Kevin. Sparklebutt. <laughs> Now there still could be more early Christmas presents in the penguin enclosure here with another three eggs still to hatch. Taking a look at, it, at the six o'clock board now, Rod Young joins me. Uh, Rod, uh, has the Attorney General made a decision on this appeal over the, the Baden Clay case? Well, a lot of people are wanting that, but not so far, Max. Uh, but pressure certainly is mounting for a new legal challenge after Jared Baden Clay's murder conviction was downgraded to manslaughter. Also tonight, what anti-domestic violence campaigner Rosie Batty thinks of the court's decision. You've got more on this dramatic situation uh, up in Toowoomba this afternoon. Indeed, not so calm in the Garden City, Max. Uh, a police officer opened fire when the driver of a stolen car tried to run him over. It happened as officers closed in on two men wanted over a series of home invasions. We'll have the dramatic pictures. And uh, also on the road, a tragedy uh, down south of Brisbane with a pedestrian. Yes, indeed. Sadly, Max, uh, a woman was killed while crossing the road at Sunnybank this morning. It's believed she had a green light but was still hit by a vehicle. So we'll examine how that could happen tonight at 6. All right, Rod Young, thank you very much for that, mate. We'll see you then. Now let's check in on social media this afternoon. Time magazine is causing a stir online with ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, named as its, uh, amongst its persons of the year. Other finalists include the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, Caitlyn Jenner and Republican presidential candidate, Donald Trump. And you better watch out. Santa has updated his look, maybe blue steel. It's all for a good cause, though. The Canadian model's raising money for sick kids, with a local mall donating $1 for every selfie taken with the man in red and posted it to self-social media. And you can join the conversation too. Follow 7 News Queensland on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching 7's Afternoon News, live and local across Queensland. Stay with us now for The Chase Australia and join Rod and Kay in 7 News tonight at 6.